Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Marco and you are watching Marco Apology. Wait, what? This is not about my channel, right? So, let's rewind it. Hi guys, this is Marco and in today's vlog, we will be talking about a very special topic that most of us can relate to. Yes, and that is quarantine. I know most of us know or the whole world actually knows that we are currently bottling with a very infectious disease and that's the coronavirus. That's why most of us are at home right now. And that's due to the quarantine imposed by the government or our cities and municipalities. It may it be enhanced community quarantine or the general community quarantine. And we'll be talking about it because most of us are really doing like a lot of things in our home to really combat the boredom brought by the quarantine. So the question is, what are the meaningful things that I have done while in quarantine? First things first, so after getting out of the bed, I actually pray because I wanted to start my day with a prayer because it will set the mood for my entire day. Second is that I usually meditate every day for like 15 to 20 minutes because it clears my mind and really gives me focus and zen. Third is that I supplement my body by eating healthy and taking vitamins. But what's very special about this is that the vegetables and the fish and some of the snacks and the desserts that we eat at home are actually purchased from local farmers, local fisher folks, from local suppliers, from friends who are supplying the food because I believe in that we will be able to help them alleviate their social pain brought by the quarantine and in that way we'll be able to help them gain income and that would suffice their daily needs and that's a give and take relationship they give our family good food and I in turn pay them that way I can help them and we are helping each other in a way and fourth is that I started planting vegetables and I ask um, vegetable seeds from our municipal agriculture's office and it's for free so you guys you better check your municipal office and ask for free seeds vegetable seeds that you can plant and have them sprout or grow in your backyard so that when time comes you have something to harvest and eat for the entire family and fifth is i exercise i actually have a 30 minute to one hour exercise daily using my weighted jumping rope and that gives me or boosts my energy towards the whole day so exercise is very much important as well more than just eating and six which is the very important thing that i'm most proud of is that i created this this outreach program called bulig book to project which actually aims to help those local healthcare workers the front the people in the frontline services and those vulnerable individuals and families in our municipality who have been greatly affected because of the COVID-19 pandemic. With the help of my friends, I was able to provide the healthcare workers in our hospitals, in our rural health, um, food packs, alcohol, um, antibacterial soap. I was also able to help the underprivileged um, families in our neighborhood. I was able to provide um, vegetables for them that they could actually use for their meals and that's healthy. I also made DIY face shields which I distributed to the frontliners in the checkpoints and the tanods in our barangay and also to the other barangays. So, and currently we have this call for donations to raise 100 PPEs for our hospitals and the rural health unit in our municipality. And a lot of people or my friends would ask me, why are you not appearing in the pictures or in the videos? Or why are you not there? Why are you not present on the photos being uploaded on your page? I, I tell them because it's not about me. It's about the people I help. I mean, it's their story, not my story. And I want other people to see them so that those people who will be able to see them will also be able to send help to them because the help that I am giving is just only sufficient for like a day or two. And that's not enough for the entire quarantine. So I want other people to come together to help those who are in need because in times like this, we need each other. And help the world become a better place and see through this, this pandemic. That's a great value that we could actually um, hand on to the next generation and a great message for those people out there also that they are not alone and we remember them and we are here to help them that's why we need to come together and embody the spirit of bayanihan in times like this so i want you and i urge you everyone to please help those people you think and know who need help i would also like to emphasize over and over that we need to come together because only being together we're able to fight as one and we heal as one 
And lastly, which is one of the meaningful things that they have done while in quarantine is that I pray the rosary with my family every night before going to bed. And that is such a beautiful thing to do while while at home with your family before going to bed and that you are you are able to summarize your day with prayer through rosary. So I am just so happy doing that with my family. So those are the meaningful things that I have done while in quarantine. I hope you guys also took your part in really making quarantine an avenue for you to be able to be more productive. So yes, and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to stay safe, pray, and do social and physical distancing, wear a mask, and disinfect yourselves. Every time you touch something, disinfect using alcohol, or sanitizer and when you go home take your stuff off and go to the sear and take a bath because you have family that needs to be safe so i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye have a great day everyone god bless